hello guys welcome back so in this video we'll see about lzss encoding so this is another method or another dictionary technique used for encoding the input letters or the input string okay so let's start so here are the algorithm lzss encoding while not finished Determine the pair P, L corresponding to the longest match in the lookout buffer. Then we have two conditions if and else. If size of P, L is greater than or equal to size of match, output a 1, comma, the first letter of lookout buffer. Then shift the contents of the entire buffer by one position. Else output 0, P, L and shift the contents of entire buffer by L positions. So your P here is the position and L is the length as you have seen in the LZ77 technique. Okay. So I'll explain you this while solving the problem. Okay. So let's move ahead. So here I have an example encode the string A B A B A C B A A C B A A D triple A. So you have to encode this using LZSS method. So now it is given in the problem that maximum value of position and length is 3. Okay. Which requires 2 bits. So now using 2 bits how many values you can generate. So you can generate 00, 01, 10 and 11. So total 4 values you can generate. Now those 4, four values are enough to accommodate this 3. Okay. Since 4 is greater than 3. So, using 2 bits, you have 4 values. So, that's why size of P, L is 4. Okay. So, whatever maximum values you can generate using these many bits is your size of P, L value. Okay. In this case, it is 4. Okay. And next, it is said that assume 3 bits are used to encode each alphabet. Okay. So, whenever you get a match of I, you have to multiply that with 3 to get the size of match. Okay. This size of match is used in this algorithm. Okay. See here. So whenever you get a match of I, then you have to multiply that I with 3. Okay. And then check this condition. Okay. So these are the two conditions, initial conditions given in the problem. Okay. So let's move ahead. So here you have the table input buffer and output. So this is similar to LZ77 encoding. Okay. So, so let's start. So you have the input string here. So what do you do first? Take the first input letter and make L copies of that input letter. Now L is the length of the buffer. If you remember here the length is 4. Okay. So you make 4 copies and output that same letter okay so next step take this same input string in the next step now what you do you take this previous buffer contents to the left hand side buffer and to the right hand side you take the first four input letters okay so your first four input letters a b a. so take that to the right buffer okay so dictionary buffer and this is your look at buffer okay so now you have to start the matching process or finding the longest common subsequence. Okay. So see here, you have start from look at buffer. Okay. Leftmost position. So you have A, A here and you have A, A here. You can match any. Okay. I'll take these two last one. So the longest string here is A, A. Okay. This A and this A. So what do you do? Now you have the match of two characters. So what do you do? You have to multiply that number with 3. So you got 2. So multiply it with 3. You get size of match as 6. Okay. Three, 2 into 3. 6. So now go to the algorithm. And check this condition. So see here. If size of P, L. Size of P, L is 4. So 4 is greater than or equal to size of match is 6 okay 2 into 3 6 
सो चेक इफ फोर इज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू सिक्स नो द कंडीशन इज फॉल्स सो यू गो टू द एल्स पार्ट एंड वॉट यू आउटपुट आउटपुट अ जीरो कॉमा पोजिशन कॉमा लेंथ ओके सो यू आउटपुट अ जीरो ना वॉट इज द पोजिशन द पोजिशन वेर यू स्टार्ट द मैचिंग फ्रॉम इन द लेफ्ट बफर सो यू हेव जीरो वन टू सेकेंड पोजिशन सो यू राइट द पोजिशन इज टू एंड वॉट इज द लेंथ द नंबर ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स दैट आर मैचिंग सो यू हेव द लेंथ इज टू हियर ओके सिंस यू हेव टू कैरेक्टर्स मैचिंग सो द लेंथ इज टू नाउ रिमेंबर द लेंथ ऑफ मैच एंड साइज ऑफ मैच आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स ओके लेंथ ऑफ मैच इज नंबर ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स दैट आर कॉमन एंड साइज ऑफ मैच इज द वैल्यू दैट यू गेट आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विथ थ्री ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस सो नाउ वॉट यू टू डू यू हेव टू शिफ्ट द बफर बाय एल पोजिशन ओके सो वॉट इज एल टू सो यू टू शिफ्ट द बफर बाय टू पोजिशन टू द लेफ्ट सो आफ्टर शिफ्टिंग लेफ्ट यू गेट दिस टू गो आउट एंड दीज आर रिमेनिंग दिस सिक्स आर रिमेनिंग सो वॉट डू डू टेक दिस फर्स्ट फोर टू द लेफ्ट बफर एंड दिस टू टू द राइट बफर नाउ यू हेव टू फिल दिस टू एम टी स्पेसिस सो हाउ डू यू फिल दिस टेक द नेक्स्ट टू इनपुट लेटर्स ओके सो यू हेव इनपुट लेटर्स बी ए दिज यू ऑलरेडी प्रोसेस्ड देन नेक्स्ट यू हैव बी ए सो टेक दिस बी ए हियर ओके सो नाउ अगेन स्टार्ट द मैचिंग सो यू हैव अ बी हियर डू वी हैव अ बी हियर नो सो वट वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द मैच लेंथ ऑफ द मैच इज जीरो सो वॉट डू यू डू मल्टीप्लाय दिस जीरो विथ थ्री यू गेट अ जीरो नाउ गो टू द अलगोरिदम चेक हियर साइज ऑफ पी कॉमा एल इज फोर चेक इफ फोर इज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू जीरो येस द कंडीशन इज ट्रू सो वॉट डू यू डू आउटपुट अ वन एंड फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ लुक एट बफर सो आउटपुट अ वन एंड वॉट इज द फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ लुक एट बफर बी सो आउटपुट बी ओके then shift the entire buffer by one position so you have to shift the buffer by one position to the left so after shifting this a goes out then you have this four to the left hand side and this three and how do you get the fourth one take the input letter next input letter so you have a c here take that c here okay now next again start the matching process so you have a, a b here and ab here now again remember you can cross over from this buffer to this buffer while matching okay so you have a ab a here and from this you get ab a okay you can cross over from this buffer to this buffer as we have seen in lz77 okay so now what is the length of the match 3 so multiply this 3 with this 3 so you get 9 then again check the condition size of pico mile is 4 4 greater than equal to 9 the condition is false so you go to the else part output 0 position and length so output a 0 what is the position you are starting from this letter so 0 1 2 second position so the position is 2 and what is the length you have three characters matching so you write the length as 3 okay so now what you do shift the buffer contents by l positions So shift by three positions. Your L is three. So shift by three. This three A go out. You are remaining with B A B A. You take that here, and this C. Take this to the right buffer. And how to fill this? Take the next three input letters. That is B A A. So now you have this two buffers. Now again start the matching. So start from this position. So we have a C here. Do we have a C here? No. So what is the length? Zero. So multiply this zero with three, so you get zero. Now go to the algorithm. Now see here if four is greater than equal to zero, the condition is true. So what do you output? Output a one and first letter of Lucard buffer. So output a one and first letter that is C. Okay. So you got one C. Next shift the position. Shift the buffer by one position. So shift by one, you get this A goes out. A B A C comes to the left, and B A remain is remaining. And how to fill this? Takes the next input letter that is C. Okay. So now again start the matching. 
so you have ba here and ba here okay so you got a match of 3 sorry match of 2 so multiply that 2 with this 3 so you get 6 now go to the algorithm size of pl is 4 size of match is 6 so 4 greater than 6 the condition is false so you go to the else part output a 0 position and length so you output a 0 what is the position you started from this position so 0 1 so first position and what is the length of the match you got these two matching characters so the length is 2 ok so next you have to shift the buffer contents by L positions that is two positions so shift by two these two go out you are remaining with ACBA so take them here and this AC is remaining and how do you fill this take the next input letters BA so now again start the matching you have ACBA and ACBA all the characters are matching now here you are allowed to take all four characters ok unlike LZ77 ok in LZ77 we can't take all the four characters if they are matching ok here you can take because we don't have any mismatching character to write here ok so take all four now you have the length as four multiply that four with this three so you get 12 now check if four is greater than or equal to 12 so this condition is false go to the else part output 0 position and length so you output a 0 what is the position you started from this position so the position is 0 and what is the length of the match 4 ok since 4 characters are matching the length is 4 now what you do shift by L positions ok so shift by 4 positions this 4 go out this 4 come to the left and how do you fill this take the next 4 input letters ok so ADA comes here ok now again start the matching you have a A here and A here ok do you have a D here no so you get only one character now the length is 1 and multiply this 1 with 3 you get 3 now go to the algorithm size of P comma L is 4 which is greater than or equal to 3 ok so this condition is satisfied so you have to output 1 plus first letter of lookout buffer so you have output 1 and what is the first letter A so you have to output A ok then shift the buffer contents by one position so shift by one what do you get this A goes out your remaining with CBAA to the left hand side and see here you already processed this DAA and you are remaining with only a single A ok these are not two only single A ok so you take this A here ok so you get CBA and D triple A ok so next what you do again start the matching from the right buffer so you have a D here do we have a D here no so what is the length 0 multiply this 0 with this 3 go to the algorithm so size of P comma L is 4 which is greater than or equal to 0 so you have to output a 1 plus first letter of lookout buffer so output a 1 and what is the first letter D so you get, so you get 1D ok so your in input is entirely processed ok again there is a correction here this is only a single A ok so you have processed your entire input and this is the output you get so take this output from top to bottom you get A 0 to 2 1B 0 to 3 1C 0 1 2 0 0 4 1A 1D 1 so this is your encoded string ok so remember this first initial conditions ok whatever number you get here this should be accommodated using these many bits ok so after taking two bits you get four values so size of PL is that value ok if you have got three here so if you got th three bits what what are the number of values you get eight ok two raised to three eight so your size of P comma L would have been eight ok assume this condition ok here there are 3 bits given so you have to multiply the match with 3 ok if you are given 2 you have to multiply the match with 2 ok so you get the size of match then you have to 
process these two cases okay if and else and accordingly write the output okay so first you take the input string make l copies of the first input letter and output that letter then follow the algorithm okay so while referring position you have this buffer for the length you have this buffer or this buffer any of them and while writing the position you have to start from you have the positioning numbers from 0 1 2 3 okay so these things you have to remember okay so in this way you have to process your input so i hope it was clear to you if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section so thank you for watching keep learning